Hey Stampers, it's the Pampered Stamper and I actually have someone doing my videos. Welcome back, Rachel. This is so nice that you get to see me and not just my hands. So today we're gonna do a stained glass hummingbird. And I'm just gonna kind of go like this so that you can see. Can you see the glitter at all? No. Not really. What about this guy here? Let me turn him around. Anyway, it's really nice in real life. So I'm just, I'm not going to put the whole card together. I'm just going to show you how to make the hummingbird. So we need three things. We need a window sheet, which is really hard to find if you lose it. So that's just a clear heavy duty plastic sheet. They are sold by Stampin' Up. You need some heavy duty aluminum foil and adhesive sheets. This is what they look like. They come in a package of six by 12 and I forget how many sheets. Quite a few, 10 at least. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp the hummingbird in Versamark on the window sheet. So you wanna tap it on there nice and firmly. And then be careful that you don't slip around on here. And I like, I'm trying to get two on one sheet. We'll see what we can do. So down and then just hold it for a minute. Nice firm pressure and up we go. Can't really see anything, but we're going to take black embossing powder over a coffee filter and just pour it on. It's going to go back in the pot anyway, so you can be liberal, be generous. And then give it a good flick. It is a bit messy. And I did debate whether or not to use the embossing buddy to get rid of the extra, but I didn't do that. So I'm just going to lay it down for a minute. Always, always, always put your embossing powder back in the little pot because otherwise you could knock it over and make a big mess. Now I have made a mess anyway, but not as much as if I had knocked the pot over. So you can emboss on a window sheet. The trick is to not do it too long and I'm not gonna worry, see this powder over here? I could get a brush and brush it off, but it's gonna get cut out anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but since I'm going to use this window sheet again for a second hummingbird, like a window sheets are, they're not super expensive, but they're not cheap as cardstock either. So you want to use them frugally. I've got some, I got stuff everywhere. I don't know how I did that. It's not, anyway, we're going to heat it now with the heat gun. So hold it in one place at a time and you'll see it start to get shiny and black. And when that happens, you see there it goes. And you move it. And if you hold it too long in one place, then the window sheet will start to warp and we don't want that to happen. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. If it's not if it's not embossed enough, it'll be powdery and then it will rub off, which is not what you want. I'm gonna do it a little bit more on his breast. It's good to have a sunny day, then you get better light. I think it's good. Yeah. All right. And now I'm going to actually clean off my grid paper. Look at all the powder on there. It is not pretty. And that gets gritty. We don't want that. Okay. There we go. So he's not the most beautiful hummingbird, but you get the idea. And you know what? He's still going to be nice. And look, I did, I did rub it off a little bit on his head. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you on the top of the hummingbird, you're going to use blends. Okay. So I'm going to use the dark real red over here. And the other trick with this is that you can go in again later. So I'll let this dry and go on to another color. And then later on, I can come in and add an extra layer of color over top so you can get it to be more bold. But it's really nice that you can just color in here um, because it's a raised edge. So it makes it for very easy coloring. So, and you can blend your colors a little bit too if you want with more than one color. I did that on the tail. So I did tail feathers in Daffodil Delight. So this is very boring for Rachel, but it's nice that she's doing this for me. And then I went with a little Bermuda Bay in there. And you know, don't stress about the colors on your hummingbird. There's thousands of different kinds of hummingbirds. Well, maybe not thousands, but hundreds anyway. And they're all colored differently. So, and it can be a creature of whimsy could be something from your imagination. So don't worry about the colors you choose, just make it pretty. See, I'm gonna go in again with the red over top and you'll see how, look at how it gets darker. 
So you can make it more vibrant and you can even color after you've got it on the foil. So the next trick, I'm not gonna finish coloring. I don't feel like it. I'm not a patient person. So now we're going to take foil and, and then I'm going to fold it in half because even with foil, I don't want too big of a piece. And then you crumple it. I'm not crumpling it into a ball because I've discovered that that's really hard to uncrumple. And then you carefully, oh yeah, it will rip a little bit. So you do have to be careful. You want to uncrumple it, but you don't want it to be perfectly smooth. So lay it down and then just pat it. You know, when I was a kid, we used to always have peppermints in church. Dutch people take candy to church. I don't know if other people do that. I don't think so, because we were once, when I was a kid, we went to a, a service, the Presbyterian church, and so we got out our roll of peppermints, and you know, when you have peppermints in church, you share, so you pass the roll down. And the Canadians looked at us of like, what are you doing, candies in church? But this is definitely a Dutch tradition, and when the sermon got long and we got bored, we would take the, there was silver wrapper in the peppermints, and we would take that and, and yeah, do this with it. So this is what it reminds me of. So now you have this. We need to find a way to stick the foil to the hummingbird. And so the way that's done is you take a piece of the adhesive sheet. Now I don't want to use this whole piece. So I'm going to use my trimmer and just cut off about, I don't even need four inches. Let's go th three inches. Oh, three and a half. I shouldn't get too cheap. So three and a half. And then there's this little piece that says peel here. So you go like that and there's a little bit of a, oh yeah, just a minute. I have, well, I have nails, but you know, they're short. There we go. So we peel that off and I'm gonna hold on to this. And then I have to think carefully. I'm going to put the foil. I don't need that whole piece, but okay. I'm gonna put the foil on here. See, so now the foil is on the adhesive sheet. I'm gonna lay this on top just for fun and then I'm gonna burnish it just to make sure that the foil is really sticking on that adhesive sheet, okay? And then I'm gonna turn this around and I'm going to start peeling this back off. This is a little bit tricky. And now you wanna take your silicone mat and hold on to this sticky piece right here because if you put your fingers on that, it's going to stick to your fingers. So you carefully peel this off. You can see how it's kind of sticking a little bit. You roll it off slowly so that the adhesive stays on the foil. There we go. Oh, it's sticking onto my adhesive sheet. All right, I see here that there's enough there. So now I'm going to take my hummingbird and I'm going to lay it on there. And I'm not gonna waste the rest. This is here is enough for another piece, but it's all sticky. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Okay, so anyway, now you can do this again, burnish it. And then I can run it through the big shot and cut that, cut it out. That's all there is to it. I'm not going to do that because I wanna do another hummingbird on this side so I don't waste this adhesive sheet. Okay, so on this one here, I've got two. So you can wait till you've got it on your foil and then do the coloring, that works as well. Okay, so it's, see how easy it is? Now I do have a confession to make. The first time I did this, I forgot that France Martin, whose idea this was, she used the adhesive sheets, but I forgot about that. So I used Tombow. So then you make a puddle of Tombow on here and then you sponge it on the back and that worked too. It just takes a little longer. It's all on my blog post. So I think this is good enough, guys. I'm not gonna show you anymore. You see how it's done? It's easy, it's beautiful, okay? And that look of the foil underneath really is really pretty. So that's the stained glass hummingbird. I hope you liked it. Thanks, Rachel, for doing the video. Bye, have a super day.